So I thought I'd do a quick little video today. Um, you guys know I prefer to do mostly the live streams, but this is something that caught my interest. It kind of has had my interest for probably the last eight or nine months. And uh, now I'm in a position to do a, a decent little video on it, so I thought I would try that. So this is like the comparison contrast between two pairs of wire stripper slash crimpers. On the left we have the Napa Carlisle brand and on the right we have Nyko. Now these are both uh, pliers, crimping and stripping pliers that I would consider to be like more on the budget end of the spectrum. Uh, just to give you a brief history, I was looking for a pair of these probably about nine or ten months ago and uh, the Carlisle ones on the left were $30 at the time and I thought oh, I don't really feel like spending quite that much money so I got on Amazon and I started taking a closer look at these these are by Nyko and I found a pair of these on there for about fourteen and a half dollars shipped and I thought well that's more like what I'm thinking of budget wise so I decided to go with them and I got them in the got them in the mail spent about fourteen and a half dollars like I said and I thought hey not not a bad deal at all uh, they they didn't look quite as good as I had envisioned them maybe looking uh, based on the pictures they had on Amazon uh, comparing them to the Carlisle's and also the snap-ons which are I think close to fifty dollars so not in the price range at all for me uh, I thought, well, I wonder if these these Nikos look very similar to uh, both the, the Snap-on and the Carlisle, so I wonder if they'll measure up in person. And when I got them, I've got to say, my thoughts were, hey, they're not bad. I wasn't overly impressed by the quality, um, but for $14.50, I really couldn't complain. Well, fast forward, uh, and actually Jay Young, I think, did a video uh, about comparing the the Carlisles here to the snap-ons. I think that was about six or seven months ago he did that video. Uh, I think he had a set of these Carlisles for his son Jace and Jay Young, you know, he likes the snap-on stuff so he went with the he went with the snap-on for himself but he was comparing them and had good things to say about the Carlisle but uh, you know, at $30 for the Carlisle as opposed to $50 for the Snap-on, you probably don't expect quite as much out of the out of the Carlisle. Um, but fast forward here, like I say, about eight or nine months from when I was initially making the buying decision on these, and I was in Napa the other day and picked up their Real Deals catalog, like I like to do, their little newspaper, and what did I see? I saw these wire strippers on sale. Now before, when I've seen these on sale over the last eight or nine months, usually the price is $29.99, and when they go on sale, they put them on sale for like $27.99. So, so I would think, wow, I mean, great, what a sale. Uh, but now I see them for $21.99, and I thought, hey, I can do that. Uh, those are, that, that seems more attainable to me. So I thought, hey, if I get those, I'll have to shoot a little video about them. Also the CHT WSCCP, that's the, the model number. And I, I apologize, I don't have the model number of these Nikos. But I'll give you guys kind of a close-up of the Nikos. You can see they, uh, as far as what they'll gauge of wire, they'll strip 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And then they crimp both, uh, both extreme close up there. Uh, bare and insulated wire. The fastener size is a T20 Torx and it is staked. The handles are like kind of a plasticky uh, dipped style of a handle. They don't feel just overly cheap but they're not impressive by any stretch of the imagination. And you come over here to the Carlisles, also 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. The same size of fastener. The head is T20 Torx. 
they'll crimp both bare and insulated wire or I, I should say insulated and non-insulated and they do have these these teeth here at the end try to get a decent shot of those teeth one difference I'll tell you right off the bat well a couple different differences for one this surface right here is machined it's like what I would refer to as a satin finish on the Carlisle the, the finish overall of the heads is completely different the, on the on the Nikos it's basically a, a painted surface and it's got a little bit of texture to it but not much and then on the Carlisle's it's just kind of a bare surface but like I say that the one part there is machined both sides nice and smooth and satin finish and the teeth on this one uh, noticeably sharper than on the Nyko also see if I can do this forgive me for crummy camera work here but bear with me the size of the heads the Carlisle are just it's just made out of thicker stock and the way that it's manufactured is just uh, it just feels superior the cutting surfaces just all the way around the the Carlisle if I'm being if I'm being realistic the Carlisle is definitely a, at least a step above and you've got keep in mind here you got about fourteen and a half dollars as opposed to twenty two dollars the handles on the Carlisle are uh, more of a texturized rubbery feeling handle they do have a little bit more cushion than the handles down here on the Nyko and they are wider again forgive me for my quick an easy camera work I'm just trying to give you guys the best idea I can here of comparison you can see that the the handles on the on the Carlisle are broader and they are more comfortable they don't if you have to really put some heft on, in, into uh, your cutting or stripping action on these the, the Carlisles are just going to be more comfortable for you set here kind of give you guys my final final conclusion well the final conclusion is there's a reason you have to pay more for the Carlisle they're they're just nicer they're nicer all the way around uh, the Nikos I don't regret buying them and I have enough toolboxes now that I can I can relegate these Nikos to more of a kind of a mobile set so I don't regret having them and honestly if you only spend fourteen and a half dollars for them you're probably going to be pretty happy with what you get for the money but I think for twenty one ninety nine, uh, I might make a few short-term enemies saying this but for twenty one ninety nine, with these Carlisles you're gonna get something that's close to a snap-on quality without the snap-on price tag these are very very nice now the differences between them and the snap-on I think the main thing that you're going to be able to tell other than the brand is probably that the the handles on the snap-on have the quote-unquote snap-on handles they are more cushiony but dimensionally speaking I think that these are very very close to uh, the snap-on wire strippers and these are just super super nice also I don't know if you have access to a, a snap-on truck or if you want to deal with any potential warranty issues online but there are a lot of Napa's around and with the Carlisle's the, the other Carlisle hand tools I have mainly I think I just have the screwdrivers they're, they're, they're good about warranty issues and so I would strongly encourage you to buy if I had to pick uh, if I had to pick again and it was the same price tag for what I paid but it was eight months ago and I had to pick just one set I would pick the uh, 
I would pick the Carlisles in a heartbeat. Twenty twenty two dollars against uh, twenty two dollars against fourteen and a half dollars. I, I would spend a little extra money on the Carlisles, but I'm glad I have both. The other thing I'll say just in closing: when you squeeze here on the uh, and when you strip and crimp wire and cut wire, the Nikos do not feel nearly as substantial as the Carlisles. The Carlisles, there really isn't any flex in the handle. And with the Nikos, there is a, some flex in the handle. So uh, you, you don't get quite the confident feeling with the Nikos that you get with the, the Carlisles. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions about these, I know Tony, the technician, has these Nikos. So I'm, I'm probably going to send him an email and tell him to watch these video, this video. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if for that price he would go and pick up a set of these Carlisles because I like them really well. All right, you guys have a good one.